Hi, welcome to another Baxi Training Tuesday. My name is Graham, the proper trainer, and in today's session I'm going to talk to you about the importance of tightening the nuts that secure the burner assembly onto the heat exchanger. So if you've gone to do a service and you've removed the burner assembly to clean the heat exchanger, or maybe you've gone to do a repair and you've taken that burner assembly out, then on reassembly it's very, very important that these nuts are securely tightened and the important figure to remember is between 6 and 9 Newton meters. So on the table here, what we have, we have the heat exchanger. In the boiler trade, this type of heat exchanger is most commonly known as a Giannone. And also on the table here, I've got the burner assembly. So when we reassemble the burner assembly onto the front of the heat exchanger, we're looking to make sure we have a combustion seal. A combustion seal here. So when we look back at the burner and you see this black rubber seal, it's very important there's a good smooth finish between that rubber seal and this stainless steel front plate. So what we would do inside the boiler, we would assemble this onto the front of the heat exchanger there. Then we would use the four nuts. We would secure him up with the four nuts. So one nut for each corner. Remember that the torque that these should be tightened to is between six and nine Newton meters. Oops. Now then, if you run these up with your fingers as best you can to a good finger tightness, all four of them. If you do have a torque spanner, a torque wrench, then set your torque wrench to between six and nine Newton meters. In this particular case, I have set the torque wrench here to seven Newton meters. And then we would tighten these nuts down. So I could go on there and I can now begin to tighten this nut. And with the torque wrench, I'm going to know when it reaches the seven Newton meters because the torque wrench will click. It's getting very close. There, there's a click. So I now know that this nut is now tightened to seven Newton meters. I would repeat that process. I'd go diagonally over to this one, seven Newton meters. Then I'd go up to this one, seven Newton meters. Then I would come over here, seven Newton meters. So then I know I have correctly clamped this burner plate onto the front face thereby ensuring I've got a good combustion seal. If in your toolbox you do not have a torque spanner, then what you need to do is to tighten these four nuts as tight as you can with finger and thumb, and then with either an open-ended spanner or just a straightforward socket set, you're looking now to clamp them down and it is approximately three quarters of a turn. So I'm now on here with my spanner look and purely to demonstrate, if I go three quarters of the turn of the clock, when I now get down to here, that now is approximately seven Newton meters. So as a rule of thumb, you need to whiz these up as tight as you can with your fingers and then each one give an extra three quarters of a turn. So as before, diagonally across and then up and diagonally across, you will then have clamped this burner onto the front face of the heat exchanger to an adequate pressure. Let's have a look at that inside the boiler. So in my hands here, you can see I have the burner assembly. And at the moment, I'm ho holding the rubber combustion seal. We need to make sure that seal is in good condition. So is it still nice and black? Is it still got some squashability in it? If it's gone hard or it's gone an ashen gray, then you need to replace it. If you were replacing the seal, then you would notice that the seal has a distinct profile. 
It's flat on one side and it's a bit like a wiper blade on the other side. So the flat edge lives inside the ridge, the wiper blade is outermost. So with the burner assembly now and the combustion seal in place, we would replace the burner, then we would get the nuts, four nuts, one in each corner, we would fit the nuts loose to begin with, then run them up with your finger and thumb, each of them as physically tight as you can. Diagonally across always works best. Now we need to finally secure these nuts to the correct torque, which don't forget is between six and nine Newton meters. So if you do have a torque wrench, then we could now set the nut and there we go, that's just click look. That is seven Newton meters. We would do all four, seven Newton meters. Whereas if you do not have a torque wrench, as we saw earlier on, if you then connect your spanner and you go three quarters of a turn, that likewise now is approximately seven Newton meters. So we would tighten each of these four nuts to the same, thereby ensuring we have a tight combustion seal and there's no risk the products of combustion and the heat is going to sneak out into the areas of the boiler it should not be. To recap then, all Baxi Potterton or main boilers that utilise this type of stainless steel heat exchanger need these nuts to be correctly tightened and these nuts must be tightened to between six and nine newton meters. Within our current product range you'd be thinking about boilers such as very popular Baxi Duo Tech or Platinum. We've now got Baxi 600 and 800. In the Potterton world we've got Pro Maxes and Pro Max Ultras and in the main world we've got main eco compacts. So I hope you find that information useful.